Did you know that the coldest city in the world is so cold that people's eyelashes can freeze in minutes? Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 coldest cities in the world. We'll be exploring these frosty locations, delving into why they're so chill-inducing. From geographical position to elevation, a lot factors into creating these icy metropolises. It's a journey that will take us from the bustling streets of China to the isolated expanses of Antarctica. So brace yourselves as we journey into the icy depths of our planet. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Harbin, China. Known as the Ice City, Harbin is globally renowned for its breathtaking ice sculptures and the annual Ice and Snow Festival. But what makes Harbin so frosty? The answer lies in its geographical location and the influence of the icy Siberian winds. Harbin is nestled in northeast China, right under Siberia. It's the Siberian high-pressure system that sends the chilly winds down, turning Harbin into a winter wonderland. The average winter temperature? A nippy negative 20 degrees Celsius. But it's not all about the cold. The city's unique climate also allows for the creation of its famous ice sculptures, turning blocks of ice into intricate works of art. Despite the icy grip of winter, the city's vibrant culture and stunning icy landscapes make it a fascinating place to visit. If you're an ice sculpture enthusiast or a fan of extreme cold, Harbin should be on your travel list. Moving on to number 9, we have Yellowknife, Canada, a city that is closer to the Arctic Circle than it is to the nearest Canadian city. Yellowknife is the capital of Canada's Northwest Territories and is known for its subarctic climate. The city experiences long, extremely cold winters with average temperatures dropping as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. Brr, so why is it so cold? Well, Yellowknife's frigid climate can be attributed to its geographical location. It's situated on the northern shore of Great Slave Lake, approximately 400 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle. This proximity to the Arctic Circle means it's exposed to cold Arctic air masses for much of the year, especially during the winter months. But don't let the cold deter you. This city is a winter wonderland with activities like ice fishing, snowmobiling, and even the chance to catch the mesmerizing northern lights. Yellowknife, a city where you can literally chill. At number eight, we find ourselves in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, the coldest capital city in the world. Nestled in the heart of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar is a city that knows the true definition of cold. It's a place where the average winter temperature dips down to a bone-chilling negative 40 degrees Celsius, and that's not even on the coldest days. This extreme cold can be attributed to a couple of factors. First off, Ulaanbaatar sits high above sea level, at an altitude of about 1,300 meters. This altitude, combined with its geographical location landlocked in the center of Asia, makes it a prime target for Siberian anticyclones. These massive weather systems bring with them frigid winds from the Arctic, causing temperatures to plummet. But despite these harsh conditions, the people of Ulaanbaatar have adapted to thrive in this icy environment. They've turned the act of surviving in the cold into a way of life. So that's Ulaanbaatar, a city that turns freezing into a way of life. Coming in at number 7, we have Astana, Kazakhstan, a city where temperatures can drop below freezing for about half the year. Astana, known today as Nur Sultan, is a metropolis that defies the chill with its futuristic skyline. But don't let the city's modern architecture fool you. Astana's climate is extremely cold due to its location in the heart of the Eurasian continent. In the steppe landscape of Kazakhstan, far from the moderating influence of the ocean, Astana experiences a harsh continental climate. The average temperature in January, the coldest month, hovers around minus 20 degrees Celsius, with record lows plummeting even further. The city is known for its long, frosty winters that can last from November to April. Astana's coldness is further intensified by frequent winds sweeping across the steppe, which can make the already frigid temperatures feel even colder. So if you're planning a visit, pack your warmest clothes and prepare for a winter wonderland like no other. Astana, a city that redefines the meaning of cold. Halfway through our list at number six, we have Norilsk, Russia, one of the northernmost cities in the world. Nestled deep within the Arctic Circle, Norilsk is cloaked in a perpetual winter wonderland. But don't let the beauty fool you, the city is home to some of the harshest winters on Earth. 
The climate in Norilsk is subarctic, with long, extremely cold winters that last up to nine months of the year. The average temperature here often dips below minus 20 degrees Celsius, and in the peak winter months, it can even reach a bone-chilling minus 40 degrees. The city's frigid temperatures are largely due to its location within the Arctic Circle, far from any moderating sea influence. The polar night, a period of darkness lasting around six weeks, further intensifies the cold. Imagine living in a place where the snow never melts and the sun rarely shines. That's Norilsk for you, a city that's more arctic than urban. Coming in at number 5 is Barrow, USA, the northernmost city in the United States. It's also known as Utkiagvik, a name of Inupiaq origin that reflects the city's rich indigenous history. Now let's talk about the cold. Barrow is situated well within the Arctic region, so it's no surprise that it's one of the coldest cities on the planet. The city's climate is classified as polar, marked by long, extremely cold winters and brief, cool summers. Average temperatures range from minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit in winter to 47 degrees in summer. But what makes Barrow exceptionally cold? It's all about location, location, location. Its position more than 300 miles north of the Arctic Circle means it's exposed to the frigid Arctic air masses, resulting in bone-chilling temperatures. And let's not forget about the polar night, a period when the sun doesn't rise for more than two months. Imagine that. Barrow, where cold is the norm. At number four, we have the Yellow River Source, China, a place where winter temperatures can drop below minus 40 degrees Celsius. Nestled high in the Bayan Har Mountains, this region experiences a sub-Arctic climate with long, harsh winters and short, cool summers. The average annual temperature hovers around minus 10 degrees Celsius. The extreme cold can be attributed to the region's high altitude, with the river's source sitting over 4,500 meters above sea level. This altitude combined with the geographical location well inland where coastal warming effects are absent, results in some of the most bone-chilling temperatures on Earth. Interestingly, this region is not just about cold, it's home to the Yellow River known as the Mother River of China, a crucial water source that has nurtured Chinese civilization for thousands of years. Yet during winter, the river's source transforms into a frozen landscape, a testament to the region's severe cold. The Yellow River source, a place that's more ice than river. Our number three spot takes us back to Russia, to the town of Verkoyansk, a place so cold it's called the Northern Pole of Cold. Welcome to Verkoyansk, where winter isn't just a season, but a way of life. Nestled in the Siberian highlands, this town is a masterclass in extremities, with average temperatures in January plummeting to a bone-chilling negative 45 degrees Celsius. Its location is the key to its icy disposition. Verkoyansk is situated deep within the Siberian highlands, surrounded by permafrost. This constant layer of frozen soil acts as a natural refrigerator, maintaining the town's frigid temperatures. The town's position in the Arctic Circle also means it's subject to polar night, a period when the sun doesn't rise for several weeks, further intensifying the cold. Despite these harsh conditions, life in Verkoyansk carries on, proving the resilience of its people. So pack your warmest clothes and brace yourself for an unforgettable experience in Verkoyansk, where the cold doesn't bother you because it's too busy freezing everything else. Almost there. At number two, we have Oymyakon, Russia, also known as the coldest inhabited place on Earth. This is a place where the mercury doesn't just dip, it plummets. The average temperature in the winter months, a spine-chilling negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, you heard right, negative 58. So what makes Oymyakon such a giant freezer? Two key factors come into play, its geographical location tucked away in the eastern Siberian tundra and the Siberian anticyclone. This high-pressure system traps cold air in the region, intensifying the frosty conditions. But the people of Oymyakon are resilient. They've adapted to the cold, finding ways to live, work, and thrive in these harsh conditions. Cars left running to avoid engine freeze, outdoor markets operating in sub-zero conditions, and children attending school even when temperatures drop to negative 52. Welcome to Oymyakon where the cold is not just a season, but a lifestyle. And finally, at number one, we have Dome Fuji Station, Antarctica, the coldest city in the world where temperatures can drop below negative 80 degrees Celsius. This remote research station sits atop a deep ice sheet where the climate is harsh and unyielding. The extreme cold is due to Antarctica's location at the South Pole, where the sun rarely reaches above the horizon. Dome Fuji Station, the epitome of cold, where every day is a snowy day. 
That concludes our countdown of the top 10 coldest cities in the world. Stay warm.